Next year we're going to go through uh, some code that actually allows you to create custom buttons in the toolbar like that. So if you pay attention here, like the button has a caption to it. And when I click the button, I actually get some data happening here. All right. So and every, obviously you can hook up any event you want to this uh, can be. A, I mean, if you're familiar with .NET, you can hook up any WinForm situation, you know, create a form, open up a form, pass any data from your strategy into that form, calculate any stuff, you know, make graphs, charts, reports, whatever you want, and uh, indicators that are actually separate and outside Ninja and also make Ninja controls, okay? So, uh, what I want to say, I want to say that, how, how, how to do this, okay? So, basically, I'm going to have, we're going to explore the button first and then maybe we take it elsewhere okay so in order to do that all right so first of all so inside this code that you will actually have as well let me just create this region called controls and uh, i'm just gonna because this is something you can keep it there are two ways to do this okay and uh dot net people probably oops understand that this can be done in this as a separate indicator and basically inside that indicator you can actually hook up an event uh, to a particular strategy uh, but there's no really point in doing that because you can only be you'll only be able to reference one strategy because you'll have to explicitly give the event like the past the parameters of this strategy name i mean if you try it someday you you probably see but the the only the most uh proper way i found is just have a template of these controls because they're always the same and to stick them to any strategy you want so this is all the code you need starting from here to create this little button okay so uh so this so you got to create a tool strip button uh object you need a string which is exactly what it says right here so it has to be tsr tool otherwise it won't work okay and well we're, we're creating a strip button and a separator okay so that's the uh basically this thing and this little if you can see this line here okay so first we create the uh, separator and then we create the button okay so create my toolbar items i call this method in my initialize uh method of ninja here and i create so if chart control whatever that is i guess that's uh, that's this chart thing here so if that's uh, no i return if i do have that then i look for the tool strip so the tool strip is this business here and you see i'm passing the actual chart control controls and i'm passing this string here to in order to find it that's the only way i'm able to find it so if toolstrip is null, I return. If null, if if it's not null, then I carry on. And first, I create the separator, which is set one. So I just created a, a method for creating a separator, so you can use it later on. And so this method will actually return a toolstrip separator uh, with the, with the only parameter of a name. And I go toolstrip items add set one as a parameter and that adds the separator I just created simple as that you can create 1 million of them if you want using this method then I create a button and for the button so I uh, basically I made my own method for creating a button uh, which consists of two <coughs> methods so create a tool strip button this is explicit method for every button you create because well I mean you can go ahead and be creative with all this stuff but well you gotta have uh, a, a button first right which is a tool strip button I named it my button and basically into that button you can pass a name a string text as a text that will actually uh, come up right here as a caption come on oh that that's it now the only thing with this button is that you gotta press it twice if the window is inactive okay so that's uh, but you can actually um, maybe make a, have a work around with, with that as well so basically i pass the color the tooltip text so that's that's the actual tooltip text this is the text that goes on top the name is just the name of it 
so I can reference it in the code and enabled uh, is, is a boolean okay so now uh, I create inside my create my tool strip button I just create that button with these parameters and I uh, I get it back at the top right here so it's a void right so right after uh, I I, I have this method right so right here I do the same thing with the add thing right so a tool strip add and I get this tool strip button back so it's a global button right here so I mean using a void I just create it okay I hope it's pretty straightforward I mean this um, I hope you're a bit familiar with .NET because um, otherwise you'll have to go and uh, I will have a have a read on what the method is and return method return types and parameters so anyway, now one more thing that is pretty cool is I can subscribe to an event called Toolstrip Button Click. Oh, this I I created that, but I can subscribe to this event. So of a button, and I think there are actually a bunch of other events. So uh, you can have a look. Uh, well, anyway, so I subscribe to a click event and when the click event happens right so it's right here i just print hello to uh the, the output window and <clears throat> well um there are some parameters here that maybe you can get uh pass with the event as well if you want to and um now one more one important thing is that uh so remove separators and remove buttons when you actually deactivate the strategy you have to remove the button okay otherwise so right now you see this is um, grayed out i haven't called that method so watch this if i reload the strategy it's going to do this it has not removed the old button and when it loaded the new strategy it actually put the new button on okay you see like uh i mean it's pretty bad anyway so now this is uh, a corrupted chart now okay so I, if I want this to go away I need to reload the chart because I need to reload the tool strip okay so to solve this problem you have to remove the button every time you reload the uh, terminate the, the strategy so in order to do that there is another override which is called uh, override on termination okay and so basically what I want to do on termination is where is it remove my toolbar items all right that's one thing and well obviously before I do that well just in case just to be very consistent I want to unsubscribe from my click event okay just so it's cleared from the memory so now after I compile this I compile it right here and I am gonna open up a new chart on the ES give it I don't know 30 days of data okay so now if I go ahead and open up my ninja class strategy and turn it on so there's my button if I reload with F5 it's fine it doesn't get corrupted okay that's the way to go so now well obviously on this click event right here you can do whatever you can create a win form and do any kind of research from there